What's going on guys, it's Jono. In this particular video, what I wanna talk about today is eight practical applications that you can start using literally today to implement AI into your life. And I'm not talking about just going to ChatGPT and typing something in, right? I'm talking about how you can supercharge your potential and literally do it 10, 100, 1,000 times faster to generate the results that you actually want. So for example, take a look at this image, right? You can of course generate something like this in ChatGPT, but you can also generate this while you're sleeping, while you're eating, while you're having a conversation with friends. And that's the kind of stuff we're going to be doing in this video. Or maybe you want to generate an AI clone yourself. Hey, I'm Alex, one of Synthesia's stock AI avatars. I'm looking forward to helping you create videos. Or maybe you want to just generate a generic video, such as somebody snorkeling underwater, or perhaps you want to clone your own voice. Our and distrust use it. is very expensive as a podcast or generate music, right? We're gonna be going into all of these use cases and so many more in this video to showcase how you guys can reach your fullest potential and really start adopting AI in all the ways that you want to. So how we're gonna do this is in an application called make.com. Right. So traditionally, if you guys are using AI, you're probably familiar with ChatGPT typing in a prompt here. Right. But with make.com, this is an automation platform that allows you to connect tens of thousands of different applications together, right? So that you can remove yourself from having to be present at the time where you're doing all these tasks you probably hate doing. So make.com can connect applications like ChatGPT or Leonardo AI or Perplexity or Claude or whatever into each other so that you can have these complicated workflows that allow you to take a step back and not have to do the work that can now be automated. So that's essentially how it works. And if you guys like this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below because I will be releasing videos just like this all the freaking time. And lastly, just before we jump in guys here, in this particular video in the description, there's gonna be blueprints to this scenario here. If you want these blueprints, just go ahead and download it for free and you can import it straight in. The reason you may wanna do this is because I have generated all of these, um, all of, all of these modules, some of them are complicated HTTP modules. So instead of having to rebuild the wheel, you can just take what I've built and pretty much have a plug and play solution ready to go at your fingertips. So with that being said, let's dive into it right now. Now, the first thing that I wanna talk about is leveraging text using AI and automation. So. Of course, you could come into something like ChatGPT or something like Perplexity or something like Claude. You're probably familiar already with one of these. Um, but instead of having to come in here and say, write me a blog post on entrepreneurship, because you're like, I wanna generate this blog post and push it onto my website, right? Well. You don't even have to be present to do this. You could literally set up a reminder in make.com so that once a day, you could say like once a day or every 15 minutes or whatever, you generate a blog post using make.com. The first thing it could do is literally do that first prompt here, which is generating a blog post about AI or sorry, entrepreneurship, right? So here's the blog post that it has already generated for me uh, regarding entrepreneurship. So you could do it in ChatGPT's interface. You could also do it using make.com and then in the next modules, upload this straight into WordPress, which is super, super cool. And then of course, there's a million and one other ways that you may be using ChatGPT and you can of course use that straight within make.com as well. Now, I'm not gonna go into the, you know, differences and compare, comparing, you know, ChatGPT or Claude or Perplexity, but the cool thing about Perplexity here is just that with Perplexity, you can ultimately, um, ask it to analyze a particular website. So you can give it a link and say, hey, go to this website and tell me what you see, just summarize the details. And that's exactly what it did here. It ended up going to a website and giving me a summary. And you can of course do that using ChatGPT, and I'm sure you can do that, you know, uh, but the difference is that you can't do that using ChatGPT's API at the time of this recording, which is why Perplexity is so freaking powerful. So that's how you can leverage 
text to do whatever it is that you're looking for. The next thing here is that you can generate images using AI in make.com. Now imagine using images for the purposes of social media content, um, or maybe you want it for blog posts, or whatever, right? There's there's a lot of different use cases out there for this kind of stuff. And you could use automation and AI to automatically generate all of your content needs. So circling back in here, I'm using Leonardo.ai and also Dolly 3 to generate these images. And within here, we can take a look actually at the images that are generated. I think this is the volcano that it generated. So a bit underwhelming for Leonardo. However, I did give it a really bad uh, prompt. So this is actually my fault. It has less of a reflection to do with Leonardo and more of a reflection to do with the horribly fast prompt that I assigned in like two seconds. But then coming over here, you can also generate motion images using Leonardo. So we're taking the same image, but instead we're turning it into a video here, right? So it almost gives the illusion that you're driving towards that volcano, which is super cool. And you can do that straight from make.com. And then you can ultimately publish this automatically to something like Instagram. Now, the next thing here is you can also generate, of course, images using ChatGPT, and you can also generate images using something like stability AI, which is stable diffusion, right? So that's cool. Now let's move on to the third application here, which is videos. So you can generate videos from text, but you can also generate videos from images, right? So a classic example is the one I just showed you here, where we're generating a video from that picture, right? Another example here is we're generating a video from a picture as well, right? Now, that's great, but let's take it a step further and actually generate a video like this. Well, this is using LumaLabs. This integrates straight into make.com with an HTTP module. This is something that took me a bit of time to set up. So I would recommend you guys just copying this and, and using it. This is essentially how LumaLabs created that erupting volcano. So it's not perfect. You can kind of see like, the lava is traveling up and it's also traveling down, but certain things Luma Labs is like really good at producing and other things it can obviously, it needs some improvement on. But the cool thing is, is this is the worst it's ever gonna be in history. Like it's only gonna get better from here. The only other limitation about this is that the video clips are short. They're typically four to five seconds, which is obviously um, not a lot to work with. So what you could do is take these, stitch them all together into a video. You could of course do this automatically using make.com as well. Now, the next thing that I wanna go over here is generating an AI clone of yourself. So take a look at this. Hey guys. In this video, we'll be talking about AI clones. Using AI clones, you could create an unlimited amount of content for social media. Did you even realize that this is my AI clone you're listening to right now? So you could go ahead and generate an AI clone. This is great if you want to post this on social media. It's great if you want to publish or, you know, maybe have like a frequently asked questions page or documentation where you give some videos or maybe you're sending off an introduction and you want to film yourself using an AI clone. There's a lot of different applications to cut down your time so that you can just, you know, win that back. And you can do this through Synthesia. And I do have a video on exactly how you can build out this whole process from A to Z. And I can link that in the description down below if you guys are interested in taking a look at that. Now, the next thing in here is generating audio files, whether it's for sending a message to somebody, whether it's for delivering a podcast, the options are endless, but let's take a look at some of these audio files here. So the first thing is gonna be um, from ChatGBT. So we can go ahead and, and, and view how it sounds here. So I'm just going to pull this in, okay. And we'll give this a quick listen here. <laughs> this is a test to see how well it sounds. So that's pretty impressive. I'll play it again. This is a test to see how well it sounds. Like that's almost indistinguishable, at least for me, um, from just talking to somebody. Like I'd never actually know that that was AI generated. Here's 11 laps. 
This is a test to see how well it sounds. And actually just going into 11 Labs, these are just boilerplate kind of stock um, voices, but you can actually just upload your own voice and then you can clone that and, and then use that in your automations, right? Maybe you want to use your voice, clone it over and create like TikTok reels or, or Instagram reels or whatever. Um, you're, you're able to 100% do that using make.com. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about here is AI calling. So this is just up and coming right now, but I think that this is going to be absolutely revolutionary and totally game changing. Obviously, with that being said, I just want to point out the ethics behind this, right? And just making sure you have a good use case if you do end up using this. Personally, I don't, but I thought it was very interesting and I wanted to share this with you guys. A good use case, for example, could be customer service. So somebody calls in and you want to give them a great experience. Maybe you don't have the budget to hire a ton of people and deliver, you know, very fast call times. So maybe you implement something like Vapi that speeds up that process so that you can give customers the experience that they're looking for. So in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to call myself here and we're going to have a live customer support call. Here we go. I'm going to put it on speaker. This is Ava. How may I assist you today? Hey Ava, thanks for giving me a call so fast. How are you doing? Hello there. I'm here and ready to assist you. How can I help you today? Awesome. Yeah, I just uh, made a payment yesterday. I was wondering if you could send over the receipt. I understand you made a payment yesterday and would like a receipt. To assist you better, could you please provide me with some details about the payment, such as the payment method used and the amount? Yeah, it was a credit card payment and it was for $500. Thank you for providing that information. I will check the system for the payment details and send you the receipt shortly. Can I confirm the email address where you would like me to send the receipt? Yeah, it's test at gmail.com. I'm glad. Thank you for confirming your email address. I will send the receipt to test at gmail.com shortly at if you have any more questions or need further assistance. Feel free to let me know. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. You're welcome. If you have any more questions in the future, don't hesitate to reach out. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And that's exactly how you could set up a AI call, right? And of course, you can set up the AI call and have it um, actually create that particular call. But then you could also have a webhook on the other end waiting for that call to be finished. And then when that call is finished, then all you have to do is essentially just um, pull the logs, use AI to go through it, decipher any actionable steps you need to take, and then take those actions straight through make.com automatically, right? So that's really, really cool. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about here is zero code kit. This is like a Swiss army knife of AI features. It could win the Guinness world record for the most amount of functions in make.com. My hand is just going to get carpal tunnel by scrolling down here all the way to the end. <laughs> it's just so freaking long. Now, there's a lot of things you can do here, but this is kind of like the jack of all trades where you can and they just do all those odd jobs that you might need help with. You could generate image, transcribe audio files, gener generate JavaScript code. You could um, extract contact information. You could extract a text from a PDF document. The list goes on and on and on. We're just scratching the surface here. You could also use Dumpling AI as well. This is the same kind of deal where there's just a lot of kind of different functionality you can use, such as scraping a URL, or you could use a screenshot uh, you can take a screenshot of a URL. So you go to a URL, you take a screenshot, you could use that to send it off to somebody being like, hey, I took a look at your website and blah, 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 right? That's super, super cool. Now, just the last thing that I wanna talk about, application number eight is actually music using Suno.com. So here's a quick video or quick song that I generated. It took me approximately maybe 10, maybe like five seconds to generate. <laughs> Feels like we're 
So that's really cool, right? And of course you can go in and you can into Suno and you can generate these songs, but you can also do it straight through make.com using their API integration down here. And um, you can take those songs, you could add it into videos, you could do whatever you want with it. There's literally 10,000 other applications that you can integrate it straight into. So in a nutshell, guys, that is eight different applications for using AI and automation bundled together in make.com. You can generate text, images, videos, cloning an image of yourself, audio files, you can generate calls, Swiss army knife of a million and one things using dumpling AI or zero code kit. And then finally you can generate music inside make.com as well. And hopefully this gives you guys some gold, uh, golden nuggets as to what you could potentially build moving forward and how AI and automation can really speed up your workflow. So thanks guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. And bye.